Hey guys, my name's Emily. Um, I live in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and this is the second video I've done like this for a class, so I think that was my exact introduction on the last one too. But I looked a lot cuter because I was going somewhere, and today I've been working all day, so this is why I look like this. Oh, and I went to the gym, so hence the messy hairdo and tank top. So, sorry about that. Anyway, um, some things about me. I live in Chattanooga. I don't know if you've ever been to Chattanooga, but Chattanooga is a great place to be. It's wonderful. We're up and coming in the art industry, and there's all kinds of stuff popping up. Um, advertising and design firms and stuff like that. So it makes me really excited about the future when I finish my degree here and actually have time to think about finding another job because right now I am a chiropractic assistant to a wonderful doctor who is like my best friend. And I love my job, but I work like close to 50, 60 hours a week sometimes. So it makes it really hard for me to fit school in, but I do it somehow. And I still maintain a relationship with my boyfriend of two years, who is a police officer, um, for the city. But the good thing is, like, he's on a, an opposite shift as me. So I work in the morning, he works in the evening, and I do schoolwork. And also, I'm a photographer. Um, I do photography as, like, a second job. And this design path has taken me on a whole new world with that, which I really love because... I really enjoy photography and this has definitely helped me hone those skills and I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to be when I graduate here. I guess the dream would be um, to continue photography because I do love it so much um, and be my own boss, design things and live in Hawaii. My boyfriend's from Hawaii and we have property out there just waiting for us to retire to from his parents. So I feel really lucky and blessed to have that, but we financially and realistically can't be there now. But maybe one day in the future, I'll be like one of those people on HGTV that just moves to an island and designs stuff for a living. But anyway, enough about me and the dreaming. Um, I'm going to go over some of the questions that you asked as a professor and I guess you guys want to know about um, what I learned in this class is that I'm I'm on the right career path I mean as hectic as my life is with work and with school I really enjoy this stuff I enjoy designing stuff and I enjoy presenting and marketing and I do a lot of marketing in my job now and I just love it I'm a people person I love to talk to people and get people and sell to people. I mean, it just really confirms that I'm on the right career path here. Um, what I didn't like about the class, I mean, there's not really a lot. I, I will agree that there's a lack of rubric here with this class, but... I think that that also allows for you to be more creative because it, it gives you an outline and it and it says this is what I want you do the rest so I think that kind of allows our minds to kind of really make it our own which is what I did and it probably took me longer than you guys to do these assignments because I heard a lot of you say you know it doesn't take as long because we know it but to me I'm not like that I I probably spent just as long on these because I just wanted to make them my own and give them my own spin. And because there wasn't a rubric, I was able to do that. And I really enjoyed that. Um, so I can't say that I didn't enjoy that there wasn't a rubric. I mean, it was fine with me. There wasn't really anything I didn't like about the class, and I'm not trying to be a suck-up. I mean, I'm just being serious. It was an overview, and it kind of let give me a small glimpse of what my future might be as a graphic designer with a marketing or advertising firm, and I really enjoyed it. Um, why Full Sail Rocks is because I'm actually, I'm 25, and I'm older than a lot of my friends that have already graduated, and that's because... Long story short, I had a rough life, and I had to go immediately to working two full-time jobs when I graduated high school to survive. So I never got to go to college, and now that my life's calmed down and I'm kind of reaping what I've sown as far as working so much 
I just enjoy full sale because I'm able to still work a full-time job 50 hours a week and a part-time job and design stuff and I do craft stuff and sell my craft fairs and I'm able to do all that in school and it's really hard and I get super stressed out but I'm able to do it and I could not do that if I had to go somewhere where I actually had to be in class because this is literally like on my schedule. The only reason full sale would suck is because I'm probably looking at 40 grand in debt when I graduate. <laughs> so, I mean, that's not exciting, but that's literally the only thing I can I can give you on why full sale would ever suck. Um who wants to be that much in debt? I mean, really. But still, it's a thing. Student loans are a thing anywhere you go, and I'm just paying the extra but because this is convenient for me, and it's the only way possible, so I get it. Um, The weather here, oh my god, Becky, it is hot. Like, today, the, I think the wind chill temperature was... 107 if I'm not mistaken and it's humid like it's miserable Tennessee Chattanooga wonderful the weather here like it's that bad um let me see wow six and a half minutes sorry y'all um what I want to be when I grow up I want to work for an advertising firm if I have to work for someone. I want to work somewhere where I can be myself. I don't know if you've ever seen the movie The Intern with Anne Hathaway and Robert De Niro, but I want to work somewhere like that, where like Google, where it's super creative and you can let your mind be free and you can go into work and you can do your thing and you can make friends, but you still have this freedom to be who you are. And that's what I want to be because I'm anything but conforming to something. I mean, I got blonde hair. I'm 5'1". I am a fitness instructor, so I'm super fit, but I'm covered in tattoos, and I don't hang out places people like me would hang out. So, I just want to be somewhere that embraces you as an individual. Um, I am pretty much out of things to say. Um, I've really enjoyed this class. I've enjoyed getting to know of you guys. I know some of you from before, and it's good that we can all kind of create that bond together. Um, I hope to see you all in the next class. Next class for me is math, and it's the one class I've been dreading this entire thing, um, this entire career here at Full Sail because I freaking suck at math, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to make it. I hope all of you have a great weekend. Happy 4th of July next week, and I'll talk to you soon.